Spring Vocabulary It's really beginning to feel like spring here. The sun is starting to come out, the days are longer and brighter, and signs of life are starting to show in the garden. Spring is a pleasant season, full of fresh starts and new life. The world starts to wake up, which is a welcome change after the cold, dark months of winter. Throughout spring, you may encounter many new positive words. Spring phrases. Phrases used in spring tend to be bright and positive. They are often associated with change and a sense of newness. Fresh start. A fresh start is a chance to begin something again. Many people consider spring to be a season of fresh starts and a great time to start new projects or make changes. Spring fever. A fever is an increase in a person's temperature, usually when they are ill. A spring fever, however, is not an illness. Instead, it describes the excitement and restlessness people experience as spring begins. Spring cleaning. The start of spring is a chance to refresh the home. A spring clean is an annual event where the whole house is deep cleaned from top to bottom. Items needed for winter, like big coats, thick duvets and winter clothes, are packed away and a new, lighter wardrobe and bedding are unpacked, ready to be used. Blow away the cobwebs. While spring cleaning involves the removal of actual dust and cobwebs, this phrase instead means to get rid of tiredness. Getting outside for a walk in the fresh air is a great way to blow away the cobwebs and lift your mood. Weather British people love to talk about the weather all year round. In spring, it becomes warmer and brighter, moving away from the cold, dark weather of winter. Of course, there is still plenty of rain too. Breeze A breeze is a pleasant, gentle wind common throughout spring and early summer. If something breezes, it moves calmly and easily. For example, she breezed through her exams means she found them easy and did well without a need for stress. Someone may be described as breezy if they are happy, casual and confident. Shower When talking about weather, a shower is a light rain. While it may rain a lot in spring, this is very important for new plants and flowers to grow. There is a saying, April showers bring May flowers. As well as describing washing, to shower is used to describe falling or being thrown over something, usually positively. For example, you can shower a friend in compliments, or a newly married couple may be showered with confetti. Drizzle. Drizzle is rain that is even lighter than a shower. When it drizzles, you won't be able to see the raindrops, but if you go outside, you'll definitely get wet. Misty In early spring, 
the mornings are often misty. Mist is a lighter form of fog. Water in the air makes it harder to see clearly. So the world looks fuzzy or grey. Humid Have you ever heard heat described as dry or humid? It is humid when a lot of water is in the air. When it is humid, you may feel sweaty or like the air is thicker. As it rains a lot in spring, it is often very humid during this season. Frost Sometimes frosts continue from winter into early spring. Frost means a thin layer of ice on the ground, caused by cold weather overnight. First thing in the morning, the ground appears white, but it doesn't last long as the day becomes warmer. Crisp Crisps are a tasty snack, but when used to describe weather, crisp means cool and fresh. Cold, frosty mornings are usually crisp and make you feel awake. Four. When something thaws, it stops being frozen or melts. Gardeners eagerly await the ground thawing after the last frost of the season. With everything thawed, it is time to start planting flowers and vegetables. Dewy. Once the frosts are over, the grass is often dewy in the morning. Dew is tiny drops of water that form on blades of grass overnight. The sight of dewy grass sparkling in the sunrise is especially beautiful. Rainbow Rainbows form when it is both raining and sunny at the same time. When light hits raindrops in the air, it splits into different colours, creating a colourful semicircle in the sky. Many people consider rainbows to be a sign of hope, and some believe if you can reach their end, you will find a pot of gold. New life. Spring is packed full of new life. The world begins to turn green again as plants and flowers begin to grow back and many baby animals are born. Farms become busy dealing with lambing season and hatching chicks. Awaken. Awaken means to stop sleeping. Many things are said to awaken in spring, from animals who leave hibernation to plant life which appears from the ground. Shoot. A shoot is a new plant that has just come out of the ground before it has leaves and branches, or a new branch of a main plant. Shoot can also be used as a verb if something shoots up. It grows rapidly. Sprouting. Lots of new shoots start to sprout during springtime. Sprouting is the process where a plant begins to grow. Sprout can also mean to appear suddenly everywhere, something plants are very good at. Bloom. When flowers open their petals, they bloom. Flowers and trees with blossoms can also be said to be in bloom. Spring is full of blooming flowers, making for some very pretty sights. Bud. Before a flower blooms, a bud forms, which grows and then opens. Similarly, a bud forms before a leaf develops. These small green blobs are often one of the earliest signs that spring is coming.
blossom. When trees bloom, their flowers are called blossoms. Later in spring, blossoms fall away and fruits will form in their place. Blossom is also used to describe changing and developing positively. For example, their tiny store blossomed into a bustling business. Bouquet. A bouquet is a collection of cut flowers put together to look beautiful. They are traditional at celebrations, especially weddings, where they are carried by brides and bridesmaids. The bride's bouquet is thrown after the wedding ceremony and it is said whoever catches it will be the next to marry. Hatch. Eggs hatch when they open to produce the animal inside. Eggs often crack over several hours or days before they are fully hatched and the animal leaves. Chick. A chick is a new baby bird. Most chicks hatch during spring, both for wild birds and domestic ones like chickens. The yellow chicken chick is particularly associated with the holiday Easter. Fledgling. A fledgling is a slightly older baby bird. A chick becomes a fledgling once it loses its first feathers and prepares to leave the nest. Something can also be described as fledgling if it is new or not fully developed, such as a fledgling idea. Lamb. Lambs are baby sheep. They are a common sight in the British countryside, playing in the green grass while watched by their mothers. Bunny. Bunny is an informal name for a rabbit, especially a baby one. At Easter, the Easter bunny brings chocolate eggs to children. Celebrations. Spring has lots of fun celebrations. Many of these are bright and colourful, with tasty food to be eaten. Spring forward. At the end of March, the clocks spring forward by an hour. This change of the clocks helps make use of an extra hour of sunlight in the evenings through the spring and summer months. Mothering Sunday. Mothering Sunday used to be a church holiday, but is now spent celebrating mothers. On this day, people will give gifts and cards to their mothers and important women in their lives. Easter. Easter celebrates the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and new life born in spring. For many people, the holiday involves a range of sweet treats, including chocolate eggs, simnel cake and hot cross buns. Hot cross buns are sticky, raisin-filled buns with a cross on top. April Fool's Day April Fool's Day is a morning of jokes and tricks which takes place on April 1st. Be careful not to play any jokes after midday, or else you become the April Fool. St George's Day St George is the patron saint of England. St George's Day, which takes place on the 23rd of April, is marked with parades and by flying the flag of England, the St George's Cross. May Day May Day is celebrated on the 1st of May in the UK. This bank holiday is traditionally celebrated with maypole dancing and the crowning of a young girl as the May Queen. Today we have covered a wide range of English spring vocabulary that you can use in everyday English conversations. What's your favourite part of spring? Let me know in the comments.